Kevin's on his John Deere right now, running it, put it back in place. Parked the tire cat. We run the John Deere Saturday there for a while. Had a few bugs to work out of it, mainly leaks. But uh, so he's gonna run it this afternoon. Not sure when they're gonna come pick the tire cat back up, but uh, we ain't heard anything from them. They'll come get it, but we would just run run to John Deere, make sure we got everything uh, situated on it there. Because anytime you take that many lines off, you're gonna have some leaks. Kevin and I worked on one yesterday that was uh, that was a booger. We got it. So a lot of people commented and talked about the fuel consumption between a Tiger Cat and a John Deere, and it is quite a bit of difference between the two machines. The uh, John Deere does burn a lot more fuel than the uh, Tiger Cat does at 855. One thing that I've been surprised about is how well the 855 handles that 624 head. It does a uh, fantastic job with that head. So made it back. Uh... They come pick the 855 up last Friday so when they come got it. So it's no longer on the job with us there. It's ready to rock and roll. If somebody's interested in that machine, contact uh, B&G Equipment down there in Philadelphia, Mississippi, and they'll get you taken care of on that. Uh, like I said, it's all ready, ready to go. I made it back from uh, Kingston, uh, Rome, Georgia, over there this weekend, the saw class, three-day saw class. That's my first one that's lasted uh, that long, over three days like that. A lot went into that class, uh, making it making it happen. And so had a had a great class. Ended up having uh, 15 people there. Covered a a lot of stuff like that. I ha I do not have anything, no classes as of right now planned. Uh, we're you know, kind of in springtime, coming up in the middle of spring right now. And, and I won't do anything during the summertime. I don't think if I was to do something in the summer, it would have to be, you know, just me doing demonstrations like that because I don't think people could handle the, the heat and running the saw. And I don't want to make somebody miserable or have somebody fall out on me either because oftentimes uh, that's the the heat is just, just so tough. Matter of fact, this weekend here, it... It got pretty warm on us out there uh, this weekend running. So on Friday this week right here, March 19th, I will be at Northport Power Equipment over there, their uh, spring open house. Uh, Chad Ganey will be there Thursday and Friday. I'll be there Friday all day long hanging out with them. I'm going to do some uh, saw demonstrations, uh, talk about sharpening and things like that, and just taking care of your chainsaw. And, and if you come in there and you buy a saw and you got some questions about it, bring it out there to me and I'll answer them for you. Uh, all the Husqvarna, well, not all the Husqvarna stuff, anything that's $300, off, $299 and more will be 20% off. So that's actually a uh, a killer deal. You know, so if you're going to buy, say, a 572 or 372, they're $1,000. So this weekend here, you can buy that saw for uh, $800. And, you know, that's, that's on those saws and then, you know, anything else like that, as long as it's over $300, you can get it for 20% off. Like I said, you can't beat that deal with a, with a stick right there. So if you're available, come on out over there. They're in uh, Northport, Alabama, uh, McFarland Boulevard there. I don't know the address right offhand, right there on the four lane on highway 82, um, coming in. So come by there and and uh check us out and should be able to get the videos back on schedule i've done a good bit of tree work recently too uh, a bunch of tree take down and be showing some of that stuff fixing to get uh, more and more into that very deeply and everything if you hadn't figured that out yet <laughs> so but anyhow today's video is late Forgive me. Oh, the uh, Eastern Logger Silent Auction. Go over to uh, Nuts uh, 319's channel. And he has, he started that yesterday. And I think it's going to run from yesterday all the way over to this coming Saturday. So you can check that out. It's cool. Kind of cool the way he's got it set up. 
and just watch the video there for it and all the details are in the video a lot i sent him a, a good bit of stuff up there to it that he could they could put in the auction so appreciate y'all watching we'll catch y'all later later to hey oh by the way too if you have any tree work or anything that's in around here local that you need done uh tree work grade work ditching uh water lines anything like that uh, my email is right down below. I'm not going to give out my phone number. Just send me an email. That's how I've been communicating with people. They send me an email and then we get on the phone and then there you go. So uh, later, taters.